So one of the projects I did today, I finally installed this switch for the, uh, it's the remote on off switch for the inverter. And uh, I installed that underneath the control panel. And it looked like that was about maybe an eighth inch to maybe a quarter inch thick uh, wood. And it's real flimsy wood too. And uh, what you want to do, I marked it with a pencil, the outline. And I scored it with a razor blade because if you don't score it, that paint will come off. It's not really paint. It's like a wallpaper type paint. And that location is where I had this. This is a SAE plug. And I wired that into the 12 volt system when I first bought the trailer to hook up my portable inverter. And uh, temporarily where I had that switch, I had it up here and ran the wire back there temporarily because I didn't know how everything was going to work out in the beginning. So um, that was a fairly easy install. And then there's two holes out there where the wire goes through. So I'm charging the battery with this and the converter and the solar at the same time because my converter is only made for uh, lead acid batteries. Um, I just hooked it up there and this is all working really well. I'm really happy with this. Um, so I got up this morning and we were at 60% uh, I believe. I was around 160 amps, amp hours on the battery. Um, and we ran the generator for about two hours yesterday charging the battery, uh, but I didn't get a full charge. I got it. I think I got it up to 250 amp hours. So we used close to another 100 amps from about 5 p.m. till 7 a.m. this morning. But one of the things I'm looking at is there's two holes down there. Let's see if I can see them where the wires go from that control panel. And I might use that for ventilation this summer. So it's okay for the heat. I have a temperature sensor, right? Right over here, right there. And it stays, this cabinet stays 15 degrees warmer than it is outside. So that's working well for heat, but it's gonna be the heat in the summer that's gonna be the killer for this. Um, I might, there's enough room, there's two big holes there. I'll just run a vent from under that control panel out to here and put a fan there to blow cool air from the air conditioner in there when we're running this in the summer. We'll have to see how that goes. Um, yeah, this is working out good. Generator's running good. I really like this. Running it on propane works great. So what we're doing is we're running our generator about an hour in the morning to get a little bit of a charge and then we're going uh running of course the solar's on all the time but uh right now in december late december we're getting the prime solars from 10 to 2 roughly and so i still have to run my generator i'm not getting enough amp hours out of the converter so i have to hook up this extra charger and uh that helps a lot this is just a 20 amp uh charger for lithium and I just put it on the battery there. I've showed this before. So I'm running my generator from uh, 3 to 5 in the afternoon to get it topped up to about 250 amp hours. And that'll get us through the night. So if I can get to 250 amp hours, I'm waking up to around 150, 160 in the morning. And, uh, and then I run it for about an hour around nine or 10 and then the solar kind of takes off around 10 really good and get some good amps. And with my three panels, I maxed out at 225 watts today. And I think we got about 20 amp hours just off the solar. And then the rest is a generator. So um, yeah, that's working good. I am gonna have to get a, a converter. I was hoping I wouldn't have to buy a converter, but it looks like I'm gonna have to do that get a faster charge 55 amp converter that will be capable of charging lithium now I am getting a full charge in my storage overnight with my converter the way it is for lead acid and some people say you don't but I'm getting it all the way to 299 I don't know how that's working but that's happened twice so but I think I'm gonna have to switch out before our next big trip out here which maybe will be March we'll see what happens
Here's a screenshot of the battery app that shows the levels when I first get up in the morning so you can see where we're at. 7 a.m. once again and uh, beautiful cool morning. It's 41 degrees this morning. This is uh, day four of boondocking and uh, this is here my furnace running. It's really nice to uh, with this battery set up I don't have to run my generator when I first get up. I can just turn on the furnace and warm the trailer up and we ran we run our propane heaters all night to supplement so we don't have to run this the big furnace but these batteries are working out just as I had planned. We're going through 75 to 100 amp hours from uh, 5 p.m. till around 7 or 8 in the morning and then uh, I run the generator for an hour like I said earlier and then two hours from three to five and I get it back up to 250 amp hours out of the 300 amp hours available on that battery and it's working out really well I'm really glad I did it it's really convenient just to have everything run on AC that I want to run we run to run the uh, microwave for a little while or charge our phones we don't have to go out and start the generator the portable inverter was good for a while we actually ran our TV and everything with that for a long couple years until I did this so I think I'll close this out on the battery performance that'll do it thanks for watching and uh, it's worth doing this lithium battery upgrade in my opinion thanks for watching take it easy happy new year